Bitcoin and Litecoin, can this bull rally continue? What's up, guys? Crypto Savvy here. I hope everybody's having a fabulous Tuesday, and I hope you had a great weekend. We're going to take a look at the charts, starting with Litecoin and then Bitcoin. We're going to take a look at key areas to watch where we might be going. And uh, I usually do the Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart at the end of the video. If you haven't seen that, check out any of my past videos to see what's going on there. I'm in a hurry this morning. I recorded a whole video and realized I wasn't recording. So this is going to be pretty quick. I'm going to try to zip through it as fast as possible. But I do want to give a shout out to everybody that's been liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing the videos. Really appreciate it, guys. You've helped this channel grow tremendously. Also, don't forget to check out the free Discord in the link below the video in the description. Totally free. A lot of people in there helping each other out, learning how to trade and chart and it's awesome watching people grow in there and get watching people get so much better at, at charting and stuff it's, it's a great community guys definitely check it out also there's free links down there there's a there's a abra link uh you make a deposit in abra you get a free 25 dollars worth of bitcoin uh coinbase link you make a deposit in coinbase get a free 10 dollars worth of bitcoin also there's ledger Ledger link, get yourself a nano. Keep your keep your crypto off the exchanges, guys. Not your keys, not your crypto. And also the Brave browser. I love this browser. It's extremely fast. You don't have to watch all the commercials and ads. And definitely check it out if you haven't already. And I also noticed a lot of people have been throwing tips in the Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Stellar tip jar. Really appreciate it, guys. It's not expected, but it is appreciated. So Definitely want to give a shout out to everybody for that and let's get into the video. All right, guys, as always, I want to start out by saying I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is my opinion and my view of the market only. Anybody that's doing any trading or investing in this market, I suggest you do your own due diligence and your own research as this market is extremely volatile and risky. Also keep in mind, it's still a speculative market, so don't put in more than you're willing to lose. And with that being said, if you're new here or you haven't already, hit the subscribe button in the lower right hand side of the screen. That'll get you subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post new videos. That way you don't miss out on anything as I do post every day. Smash those likes and leave your comments in the comment section down below. That'll also get you entered to win a free t-shirt on Sunday. We do a drawing every Sunday. We pick a random comment from a random video and that picks our winner. So definitely check that out. All right. Looking at, like I said, I'm going to zip through this. I know it's kind of cluttery because I did a video, like I said before, and I wasn't recording. So uh, bear with me here, guys. So anyways, looking at, this was a cup and handle we were looking at with the neckline of uh, 90, about 93 to $94. And the measured move off that, guys, was the 167 area. I'm still looking at that as my target. Um, we're going to look at some other targets too in here. But I do have a higher one of looking at this as the neckline of a cup and handle around 107. And the breakout of that is 192. So... We're gonna go into the daily RSI real quick. We're still within this channel here, guys, with getting resistance off the top, support off the bottom. Well, we do have plenty more move to go up, or plenty more room to go up, I should say. So let's take a look at the four hour RSI. And as you can see here, I had this long falling channel. In the yellow, we had a uh, uh, falling wedge here that we broke out of broke up into a falling channel broke up out of that into another falling channel and as you can see these blue lines we seem to be in a rising channel now and this looks like a rising wedge forming here so i do believe we definitely have more room to go up and then you know come down from there that may be our correction may not we'll take a look at that and see where we might be headed with it so anyways Keep an eye on this. Draw your trend lines in, guys, if you're following along. And let's look at the price action. We're going to take a look at the bearish scenario, as always, first. Um, as you guys know, I say it all the time. I'm still bullish here. I've been saying it, and I'm going to continue saying it till I'm not. So, all right, looking at the bearish scenario. So, we have this ascending, broadening wedge drawn in here in the blue. And 
We seem to be getting support right now, but the area I want to watch is right around the $98 to $100 range. Um, yeah, $95 to $100 range. Looking at this trend line here to hold as support, if we were to break down, again, guys, I'm bullish. I don't think we're coming down here, but we do have to look at it. So around the 90, 95 to hundred dollar range, but if that breaks, then we'll be coming down to test the bottom of this ascending broadening wedge, which would be around the ninety dollar range. Now, if that's the break, then we're looking at this channel, this falling channel here, this top line of it, around the sixty one dollar range. And if that breaks, worst case scenario would be touch this bottom of this long term trend line or top of the long term trend line at fifty three. So now let's take a look at the fun part, the bullish scenario. Now as in the bullish scenario, I see us possibly forming a bull flag here. I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it a little better. All right, looking at this as a bull flag, this is the measurement of a flagpole right here where we could break out, which guys would bring us to the top of this ascending broadening wedge here. Um, and that's around the 134 to yeah, around the 134 range. Um, so that's my my next target moving up here. And I do have another one. I'm going to show you real quick. This is the 145 range, which would be the top of this ascending broadening wedge. And it also would meet with this long term trend line I have right here, um, which comes from all the way back here on these two three points so the 145 area is if we can break through the 134 50 to 135 area 145 is my next target and then obviously the target after that is the cup and handle target of 167 <clears throat> but if we do break up past there guys past the 145 I do have another measured move in there. I'm going to show you real quick. And that's a measured move off of, say we broke out at the 145. You'd take a measured move of the width of the broadening wedge here, move it up to where we broke out. And that gets me up to around the one or the 2000 or $202 range. So around a $200 range, if we were to break out of this wedge. Um, and then obviously this is the 192, which is, the bigger cup and handle target. I do have one more target I want to show you guys. Let me get this out of the way. All right, the other target is looking at, zoom out so you can see. Sorry for all the clutter. Like I said, I apologize, guys. But looking at this as a bigger um, ascending broadening wedge with this top line as the top and then the bottom of it the broadening wedge would be down here so we take a measured move off of that that would also be around that 145 range for the breakout and the measured move off of that is up to the 240 dollar range guys i do believe that is extremely possible uh before a big correction so definitely keep your eye out on that we're going to take a look at bitcoin now same thing looking at this as a cup and a handle with the neckline at 50, 56, 60, right in that range. And the measured move off of that, guys, was 8,300. I took that target off, obviously, because we already hit it. So now what we're looking at is this as a rising broadening wedge that we've broken out of. And the measured move of that would be measuring the width of that broadening wedge up to here. That gets us the 9622 range. I do have a higher target here, guys. And that would be measuring this as a bull flag. Let me zoom in so you can see it. Measuring this as a flagpole right here. And this would be the measured move. Put it up here to where we broke out of this triangle right here. And that gets us up to the 10.6, uh, $10,600 range, guys. I do believe that is extremely possible. So let's look at the RSI now. In the daily and see what it's looking at for Bitcoin all right so I've had this rising channel drawn in here with the support or the resistance line up here support down here we had broke through I drew this this other line lining up with the bottom here 
and we we got support bounced up. If you look here, it looks almost like a um, inverse head and shoulders, and it got us back up to this peak. And now, if you look at what we're doing now, it looks like we're forming another little inverse head and shoulders, and we'll probably continue back up to here. So I do believe we have more upward momentum. Let's look at the four hour. All right, and on the four hour, I have this uh, rising channel in here, long, long term one from way back in November, December. Well, we had a rising wedge here in the white, broke down out of, came down, and now we're in another what seems to be rising wedge here. So, do we come back down and test the bottom? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I think we're going to come back up before continuing down. So, I do see more upward momentum. Now, let's look at the price action and see what that's telling us. And again, in this, we're going to look at the bearish scenario first, then we're going to look at the bullish scenario. So if you guys were watching yesterday's video, when we broke out of this old channel right here with two yellow lines straight across, I said that we could probably come back down and test this before moving up. We did a test here. I believe we're going to do another test here. And if that falls through, if we break through this, and that's going to be around the 86, 25 range, if we break through that, then we're probably most likely headed down to the 79.25 range, which would also be the top of this channel and the bottom of this channel, which would line up good. Um, like I said, I'm still bullish. I believe we're going up, but I am going to show you the bearish scenario here. Um, so if we went down to here and this did not hold, our next area of support would be around the $7,000 range, guys, which would be the top of that broadening wedge that I showed you in the beginning that we broke out of, that'd be retesting the top of that. So keep an eye out for that. And if that doesn't hold, you know, then we're looking down in the 6,200 range. But guys, I don't think we're gonna see below 60, I'm gonna say 6,500 um, ever again. So that's my opinion. And like I said, if you haven't checked it out, check out the uh, Bitcoin daily chart versus the gold weekly chart. And uh, you'll see what I mean. I got it on the end of most of all my videos. So if you look at a past video, you'll find it. It's very interesting. I do believe we're uh, going to continue upwards. So anyways, that's where I'm at with that. Now let's look at the bullish scenario. And in the bullish scenario, I have where we broke out of this channel here, this old channel. If we take a look at that, the measured move off of that to where we broke out is right there at the 9350 range. So that's my next target area right here, guys, the 9350 range. And if we break that target, uh, my next one is measuring this as a bull flag right here, flag pull, and then this is a bull flag. Take a measured move off that, put it up. That also gets us up to that $9,600 range, guys. That, that range is screaming at me that we're gonna hit um, at least that, in my opinion. So. Um, the next thing I want to look at is you look at these two trend lines I have here this one here and this one here looks like we're making a rising wedge so another possibility we come down touch touch the bottom of this wedge around 82 8200 to 8300 and pop up but like I said I believe this is going to hold so um, but yeah we could come up all the way back up to here which would get us to that 10.6 which would meet up with this rising wedge before falling down. Now, if we make it up to 96 something, like I said, I believe the worst case scenario is gonna be a six, uh, the correction down to 6,500. So definitely keep an eye out guys. But like I said, I am still bullish here. Um, I don't believe we're gonna have much of a drop. Uh, I did show you my bearish scenarios just in case, but keep an eye on these areas guys and the market's not so scary and also, Remember, don't pay these people that are, are charging for paid courses and whatnot, promising people the world. It's really screwing up the crypto community. People are paying for these courses, paying large amounts of money for them. They're not helping. People get scared out of crypto, and a lot of them probably won't be back. Uh, quit subscribing to these scammers and these hustlers that are, you know, basically all you're doing when you subscribe, or not subscribe, but when you pay for their courses, um, it's just it's a scam you're just paying for their gambling habits and their lavish lifestyles and if they're that good at traders they wouldn't be selling you courses you know so keep that in mind um also the hyperwave theory you guys know how i feel about that i think it's total bullshit 
And you can also look at my past videos and check that out. Um, it's at the end of every one of my videos, most everyone. Sometimes I don't have time to put it in there, but definitely check it out. So anyways, I want to give a huge shout out to all you guys. And just a reminder to subscribe. All you got to do is click the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. And then if you take the notification bell, that'll get you notified when I post new videos. Smash the likes, guys. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. If you think of any ways I can improve the channel, let me know in the comments below. I like to hear your guys' opinion and let me know what you think of the video. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.